So he stands there in the doorway. Um, I need all my stuff. I, I need half of everything we have. I'm taking Emma. Um, next week I have my apartment. I said, who paid for your apartment? I don't need to tell you who paid for it for me. I said, you don't have any credit. You don't pay our bills. You haven't paid our bills on time here for, for well over five years until you get a letter that says you have to pay them. I don't have bad credit. Well, yes, you do. So somebody paid for your apartment. I don't have to tell you who paid for it. I'm taking her anyway. She wants to go with me. The courts are going to let her go with me. And I'm taking her before they tell anyway. Um, it, it's just like there's no, you can't say a word, but he does. It's like he sucks the word out of your mouth, stands there with his soldier stance, and throws it back so there's no way you can speak back to him. Now, if he can do that to me and bend me over a bed, you know, What's he going to do to my child? And there, what am I supposed to do? Call, call somebody who's authoritative like him, and they'll do the same thing to me. Man. So by this point, I've lost my child. Well, you know, someone we know did the same thing to his wife, and he took the daughter, and she was pregnant within a year because he'll let her go out. He was going to let her go out by herself on Halloween if she even survives or doesn't get AIDS or some sexually transmitted disease from him allowing her because he might be one of these who gets jollies off of it having people in the apartment, letting her go whenever he suggests that she should go. Because since she was, since we've lived here, he's always been, oh, you should just let her go out with the girls. Or you should just let her go free or let her walk to school on her own. I mean, you know, that child gets uh, picked up off the street and uh, beat to a shred, that little girl who was raped by those two people who look like people, you know, in, in the car in, in, uh, the, uh, in, in Ontario somewhere. Uh, but still, you should just let her go. So now he's going to take her and let her go. And if she doesn't get killed or mangled or abused and still not be able to talk, because I don't know how I'm doing these videos, because usually I can't speak at all. Not myself. I can only speak the Nazi words to make me look mental. And uh, who's going to protect her? And then she'll be pregnant, because that's what happened to that family. And then he'll have control of a grandchild, because they'll never let them come home. Because they put their heads over top of them and they'll tell every judge that's asked that they would rather be with him.